Welcome back to Defense News Weekly. I'm Diana Stancy. Before Lieutenant General Sean Ganey was the head of the Army's Space and Missile Defense Command, he was the force's chief counter UAS commander. So what's on his mind in this new role? Well, drones, of course. Specifically, how the Army plans to defend the assets under the Space and Missile Command from attacking UAS systems. Here he is with our own Jed Judson at AUSA about that and other topics. Have a look. Um, I know we're almost out of time, but I did want to ask about the, the lower tier, aerial tier of threats um, that you are needing to look at, um, counter UAS. I know there's a proof of concept at Fort Greeley uh, in progress, and soldiers are sort of training and experimenting with counter UAS systems um, to defend missile defense complex. So can you talk about what you're doing there and how that's going? Yeah, so, you know, it's it's... Not a coincidence that in my last job I was the Joint Counter U.S. <laughs> Office, and it's good transition. Uh, yeah, <laughs> and uh, Northcom is looking to exude more influence in the Counter U.S. So what an opportunity! You take a strategic site, you take uh, capability that's been developed within the Army in the Joint Counter U.S. Office, and you provide it to a commander who's very familiar with the capabilities and uh, uh, challenges around it and then you implement it. And uh, so I went to the uh, Army and the uh, NORTHCOM commander and said, hey, what a great opportunity we have here to really uh, validate a capability architecture in the homeland where there's so many challenges in the homeland. But our biggest challenge in the homeland is not so much capability, it's authorities to leverage yes, that capability yeah. <laughs> and what type of capability you can use. And so we've challenged that and we've pushed the envelope uh, a little bit and we've pushed some of the authorities uh, and the specifically the 130i authority and worked closely with Northcom okay. where General Gio is embraced this and under his umbrella we, 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 we're employing capability that's not employed we're, we're, for example we're employing a curse radar okay. yeah. you, you'll find that radar nowhere but CINCOM yeah. right now <laughs> we're employing uh, low collateral interceptor the drone hunter uh, yep. this okay. is capability that was used uh, in, in some of our countries for some of their events. And uh, it's, it's now providing a soft kinetic capability to capture okay. these drones and take them to a place of our choosing, taking another racing drone with a capture system, capture that drone. So we're doing things differently in that location to be able to provide feedback. So what I can tell you is we've done our validation exercise. Okay. Our operators were six of six capturing, with our drone hunter capturing threat uh, replicated threat uh, drones. And so we're up and operational, ready uh, to begin operations to feed that into Northcom, uh, to General Gio, and then to hopefully validate this concept and then to allow to tailor that type of force okay. as we uh, move forward. 